So one of my biggest secrets when I was in campus, I don't care where I'm going, 11, 10, 12, 29, I'm walking on the road. And funny enough, when I did this, when I lived off campus, you know, um, Odenigwe, full of courtes, I don't care. 11, I'm going from the hostel, Piam. Do you know why? I'm, I'm, I'm sitting somewhere. Eh? God said, if I can dwell, maybe I went to long tennis court to pray like two hours. Why would I be afraid of someone, a human being like me? Are you seeing it? How not? There was actually a time someone at them that, ha ha, I just heard footsteps towards that hit or then west side. I was walking, I was here. I heard footsteps do, walk on, walk on. Ha ha, I opened my, it was around 10, 30, 11. I started thinking, what, well, last thing in tongues, ha ha. After like two minutes, I did not hear it again. I said, follow me now. Are you seeing it? Satan begs in your fear. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High God, the possibility of you ascending to the secret place of the Most High God, is there are things that Satan is doing will not affect you. Where are you hiding? Where do you dwell? Where are you dwelling? That is that is the, your leverage on, 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 on what will happen to you on earth so far. Satan said, when, in, in, when Satan was thrown out of heaven, the Bible said, what to the inhabitants of the earth? Are you on earth? If you are on earth, the Bible is saying go to you because Satan will deal with you. But God gave us the advantage. He said if we can ascend and come to the secret place of the Most High, all of this thing will just be a story that will be told. One more thing. Trying to, okay? Give me Psalm chapter 24. Qualifications, characters for ascension. The earth is the thank you. The Lord, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. You know, Daddy wanted to touch this thing yesterday. So I'm not I'm not going to waste time on this. I have five minutes. For he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Are we together? Who shall stand in his holy place? You will ascend. And you will what? I told you a man can ascend and so actually come down. But there are things that will make you sit perpetually there. It's not just that you ascend there. You have to stay there. Time will not allow me to tell you there's something that happened to Noah's ark that made it perpetually float on the river. No matter what is happening. There is a formation he took. There is a formation a man that ascended that will take. And when you stay there perpetually, you can stay there, you can stand. Elijah used to, I looked through the book of Samuel and Kings. Elijah used to make a statement, say, before the Lord God, whom I stand, I speak. That is one of the things I did not tell you. That is a possible, when you are saying, you start making registrations. There are things you uttered and you are not standing on a, on a plane. It was a, that was the reason why Satan struck you. I'm telling you, there was a time I came to a dream. I saw what Satan I was. I started Satan. You don't have the right to do this. Struck me. I was sick for two weeks. I just thought I had what it takes to say what, what I want to say. I suffered the repercussions. If you are not standing on a particular plane, if you are not ascended, don't legislate some things. There are some things that are very strong, are stronger than you. It is just because euphoria of where you are, you start speaking some things, you, you, you will lose your altar. There's so many things will start happening, you start asking. No, you are not standing on a place. Elijah, before he makes out judgment, he will tell you, I'm standing somewhere. That's why I'm saying this thing. Where are you standing? That's not my emphasis. He said, Whom shall ascend into the holy hills of the Lord? For he that had clean what? He that had what? Pure heart. Who had not lifted up his soul unto what? Vanity, not sworn word, did feel it. These are the criteria of you ascending. Purity. Daddy told us yesterday, there is a level of purity you don't carry. When you ascend there, that is the first, you'll be going like big red, red flag. Pa, 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 intruder. Pa, 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 intruder. Immediately you are coming, immediately you are leaving. There are some people you, you have. One strong stone of bitterness in your house, heart. 
and you are doing like this. Ah, ah. Funny enough, that day it was warfare. Hmm. I pity you. I pity you. I pity you. There are so many things you will have. That's why the Bible said, when you have something against your neighbor, it's not about physical things. Drop it before you come. It's saying if you want to ascend high, that place is delicate. Drop it first. But funny enough, we'll carry off the, all of that baggage. And so many things I would have said. Carry all of that baggage. The Bible said in Hebrew to say, lay aside every weight. There, there are things that you even carry, you will not ascend. You, will not, you are too big to ascend. Have you seen an aircraft? They built it so that the body is too light because it's going to a big height. If, if the body of an aircraft is woven with strong iron, it cannot fly. You want to ascend, you are too big. You are leading with bitterness, envy, fear, doubt. All of them, you are carrying them and you want to ascend. It is too big. You weigh you down. You cannot. You can fly as, as high as he can allow you. Say, laying aside every way, ascend and come up. If you carry all of these things, you cannot ascend properly. That's why you ask yourself, why is everybody and not ascending? Check yourself well. There are weights. Eh? You are taking packages you are carrying. One of the things... Anna said, make my feet like the hen's feet. Hen is a female deer. One of the things that I know for is that they have graceful legs. Have you seen someone, they say someone walk gracefully? They, they just, they are just light as if they have not eaten. Why are you not light? When you come to the presence of God, just allow the Holy Ghost, release yourself. But sometimes you carry, we are just full of ourselves, full of pride, full of independence, full of the things we have achieved. All of these things are things that weighs you down. Because you prayed yesterday, someone fell under and did that prayer. That thing is what filled your head. Filled your head. You will not allow you to ascend again. There are so many things that can hold people down from ascending. To have clean hands, pure hearts. You should not vouch yourself. Pride can make a man come to the presence of God and pray unnecessarily. Pray, waste your time. You are praying out of pride. You ask yourself, why did I go pray for two hours? I did not ascend. I'm not saying, when you come, drop everything that you know you are in the natural and drop it. Is it God that you are trying to form for? God that knows you inside out. Amen. Finally, give me. Exodus 17. Let me see if it's what I want. Jesus. Praying in the Holy Ghost more. We'll pray for like five minutes. Just be charging your spirit. As one major prayer point we'll do, then we'll go. Verse 8. Okay, go. Okay, go. Yes, this is what I want. In there is one of the mistakes we make in ascension. Joshua 9, please. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose out, us out men and go out and fight with the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. Moses had the rod of God. He went to the mountain. It's not enough. Now go. Verse 11. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hands that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. So, but Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him. And he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hor stayed up his hands, the one on the other, the one on the one side, and the other on the other side and in hands we are steady on to the going down of the sun i want to tell you in the place of ascension you need help the reason most time you you falter in ascension is because one you need help of men you need help of the holy ghost and this man moses is one of the highest prophets they have but today he needed help why will you come on the place of ascension and you not ask for help remember when peter came and asked jesus jesus as should I come? He was walking, walking. When he tells, I'm trying to tell you, there are times you are saying, you act as in, there are things that will strike. You will falter. There is a height you have reached. 
something will strike. Satan will just come with a thought. Bam! You falter, falter. That's not the time to go down entirely. You reach out and ask for what? Help. That's what um, Peter did. Say, Lord, would you not what? Help me. Why will you be too proud? You know you are not doing anything in prayer. Why would you be too proud to hold your brother's hand and say, I'm, I'm tired. Help me, help me, help me. Let me ascend with you. Some persons are too proud to do that. I'm telling you. That's why most times, I, Joshua, I value him. He used to do it a lot. He don't care who. You know he's tired. But when he comes, he likes to dress up as me. I, don't, I will not allow you. Because there are some people that will come. They will drag you down with them. So all I'm saying, because we are going to hold our neighbor's hand. I'm praying the next five minutes. What you are asking is for what? Help. When we say Holy Ghost, carry me. There is a point you will reach an, in ascension. It's the Holy Ghost that carried you there. Sometimes you let go of the Holy Ghost's hands. You start navigating on your own. Start doing the things that you will lose your way. The things whereby you are carried on in the first place, you will lose it. You will go off where the radar. Tell God, Holy Ghost, carry me. The reason why I'm telling you this. There are angels that have been appointed, assigned to you, that you cannot see or receive their help. Just because... The Holy Ghost is not burning you on the wings. And I tell you, there are men and brothers here that can help you ascend. Hold your brother and pray in the next five minutes. Come for me, oh!
We believe God's word came to you in accuracy and power. To connect to the ministry of God's servant, Apostle Edu Udechuku, send us a message on WhatsApp via the number plus 234-813-007-4040 or email at revivalhopglobal at gmail.com. To access transforming messages and partner with us, visit our website at www.revivalhopinternational.org. Follow us on all our social media platforms at Revival Hub International and on YouTube at Apostle Dude Chiku. God bless you.